I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. If you're new here, my name is Danny James. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix a rendering export error inside of Premiere Pro. So you might experience this error in one of the following three ways or all of them at once. It could show you error compiling movie or accelerated renderer error or system unable to produce frame. And it can also give you an error code. In this case, you can see I got a minus 169629695. And it might also give you a time code of where the error was produced. And if you're using Media Encoder to export, you can also uh, ask for an, an error log, which you can see I got one here. Most of them I've gotten also from other videos. But you can see as for the project file that I'm going to be opening, I got so many errors. But you can always get through it as long as you apply most of what I'm going to mention. So these are some techniques that I'm going to be offering in this video based on my experience and not based on information that you can find on other websites online so the first way that you can do this you can delete render files for your specific project and the way to do this just go to your sequence click delete render files and it will ask if you wish to delete all render files associated with the project file and then you can click ok and if there is anywhere that you had a green line it will disappear now the second way that you can do this you can clear media cache from your project simply go to edit go to preferences media cache and then remove media cache files click on delete delete unused media cache files and then hit ok it should take some time but it should clear this hopefully it works for you if this doesn't work you can try the next tip next tip will be to find the specific time code for the error if the system tells you it's at 524 just try to navigate to that specific time code and assess all your clips see if there is any effect that might be giving Premiere a problem. Usually Lumetri Color might be giving you a problem depending on your hardware. In most occasions, effects that have this small label on the side take up a lot of GPU space and might lead to the accelerated render error. So you want to watch out for something like this. The next tip will sound so obvious, but simply save your project and then close Premiere Pro and then start it again, see if this will work. Of course, I won't do that here. If this doesn't work, you might need to restart your computer altogether. Also, if you've tried exporting multiple times within a short amount of time, you might need to shut down your computer entirely and give it some time to breathe because the components are usually in a lot of heat and might need to cool. So give it some time, come back and try to see if your export could work. The next tip would be to put an in and out on your export settings. So right here inside my export menu, instead of rendering the entire source, you might want to put an in and then put an out where you want to end the export. The reason you might want to try this is because at some point, Premiere Pro gave me an error on the time code 17 minutes of this project. And you can see my project was going up to 15 minutes. So it might give you a time code that is far away, away from where your sequence ends. And that's why you might want to put a custom in and out before exporting. Alternatively, you might also want to go to your basic video settings for export and switch from software encoding to hardware encoding. That is if your PC allows that option for you and see if that might work. The last tip that I have for you that worked like a charm for me is I went ahead and saved a copy of this project file and saved it in a different destination. Preferably save it on your desktop. You can see it gives me the option to copy it, to save it as a copy copy because I already saved this as a copy. Then once you save it, save another copy of this project file, go ahead and export directly to your desktop and see if that could work. And yeah, these are some of the tips that I wanted to share with you guys today. This is a very notorious error that I've been coming across, especially when I'm editing sequences that have 4K footages that have been proxied. And I hope this is helpful to you. In case you have any other tips that you think should, could help someone else, kindly leave them on the comment box and someone should be able to benefit. If none of these tips work for you, uh, kindly take your time to research online and see if there are any other tips that could work for you. My name is Danny James. See you guys in the next video. Peace.